Hello. Today we're going to learn about using the kinematics equations. So the first thing we need to know is that there are five kinematics equations. The first equation only applies to constant velocity, and that is d equals vt. We only use that when we have constant velocity. So if we have any kind of acceleration, we just have those four equations. Now in those four equations, we notice that there are five different variables. Those five variables are v naught, v, a, d, and t. Initial velocity, final velocity, acceleration, displacement, and time. When solving problems with kinematics, first thing we do is we write out the five variables, v naught, v, a, d, t. Next, we identify what we know. Write them out, include the units. Then we put a question mark by what, you want to lo what you're looking for. We select the correct equation and write it out. And one of the ways that we can select the equation is by identifying which variable is not needed. And we'll look at an example of that here in just a second. Then we plug in what we know and we solve. Here's an example. A car is moving at 22 meters per second when the driver hits the brakes. The car stops in 3.5 seconds. Find the acceleration of the car. You can pause the video at this time and see if you can work this out on your own and then follow the steps as I present the solution. The first thing we do is we write out our five variables, v naught, v, a, d, t. Then we write the things that we know. We know the starting velocity is 22 meters per second. We know the ending velocity is zero. Now it doesn't say that it's zero, but it does say the car stops. And so we notice that that keyword stops tells us that the ending velocity is zero. We also know the time is 3.5 seconds. That's how long it takes the car to stop. We're looking for the acceleration, so I put a question mark by the acceleration. Now notice in our list of variables, what we don't need is the displacement. Since we don't need d, remember from my list of equations, there's an equation that says don't need d. And that equation is v equals v naught plus a t. So I write out that equation. Then I'm going to write in, substitute the numbers that I know. And then I just have to solve it. So I subtract 22 from both sides, divide by 3.5. I'm going to round my answer to three significant figures. And so I see that the answer is the acceleration is negative 6.29 meters per second squared. What if the question said, how far did the car travel while braking? So we have the same given information. The starting velocity is 22 meters per second. The ending velocity is 0 meters per second. And the time is 3.5 seconds. So here's what I'd like you to do. Pause the video and see if you can apply what you've learned and solve for how far the car traveled while braking. Here we see we're looking for displacement, how far it traveled, which means we don't need A. So let's pick the don't need A equation, plug the numbers in, and then solve and get our solution. In this case, the displacement is 38.5 meters. I hope you've learned how to apply those kinematics equations. Just remember those steps, write out the five variables, identify the things that you know, put a question mark by the one that you're looking for, select the correct equation, plug in the numbers, and solve. And you can do this.